Brothers and sisters, welcome to the season of creation. We celebrate this from 1st of September to the 4th of October. During this season of creation, we also celebrate the Jubilee of the Earth. Daily, we have been reflecting on the document Laudato Si. Today, I would like to read for you paragraph 160. What kind of world do we want to leave to those who come after us? To children who are now growing up? This question not only concerns the environment in isolation, the issue cannot be approached piecemeal. Yes, a very pertinent, very serious question that we are asking today. What kind of world we want to leave behind for the next generation, for the children that are growing up before our eyes? You must have heard the story of Greta Thunberg who has been appealing to the world leaders how the present elders need to care for their children. How we should not leave a world that is broken, that is endangered for the next generation. How we, the present generation, must make a decision for the care for the future of our of our children. Therefore, Pope asked certain questions which are very pertinent again. He asked, what is the purpose of our life in this world? What are we here for? What is the goal of our work and all our efforts? What need does the earth have of us? It is no longer enough, therefore, simply to state that we should be concerned for future generation. We need to see that what is at stake is our own dignity and therefore the issue is one which dramatically affects us for it has to do with the ultimate meaning of our earthly sojourn. Well said by Pope Francis. Hats off to him because we realize here what we are actually talking all this while is not about somebody and something. It is all about our dignity. It is the dignity of us, it is the dignity of the people that are coming after us. So we have a duty while we are here on this earth. As the famous saying goes, you are here once, make it count. Make it count not at the expense of the destruction of others. Therefore, Pope Francis says, we may well be leaving to coming generations debris, desolation and filth. Let us take care of it. Like what we want to leave behind us while we enjoy all the resources. Is it that only we are entitled to the resources here and now? Do we need to use up all the resources at once? Can we slow down in other words? Can we live a better world than when we came to this world so that our future generation can enjoy peace, health, good environment, less of pollution? Can we think at all in this line? And therefore an important question, what are we here for? What are we doing on this earth? What is the meaning of our journey in this world? Are we attending to important questions of life? Are we concerned about our little children growing up in an environment, in a world that perhaps will be left only with debris, filth, desolation, more deserts? How about asking these questions to ourselves today? Perhaps raising such questions will also evoke some kind of responses from each of us. While we can blame the world leaders, let us also know that each of us also have to make certain local decisions within our family, within our small society, where we can truly consider the needs of the coming generation who deserve a better world than we are already planning for. God bless you today. Thank you.